Okay, I'm here to do the Gravity movie review with Sandra Bullock. And I have to say, it was a pretty damn good movie. A lot of people gave it such shitty ratings. I watched them in 3D. So I only have it in 3D and Blu-ray. I'm not going to buy it in 4K again. That would just be flat right stupid. Um, I guess I've had a really good TV I could benefit since the whole thing was probably an IMAX. Such great quality um, camera work and stuff. I thought it was a pretty good movie. It, it was basically a tragedy disaster from the very, very beginning. They didn't give you much time at all. Actually, at the very beginning, everything was silent because you were in space. But then it started. It was just a dramatic way to get down to Earth safely. And you know what? Um, all I gotta say is, is that I'm not at all thrilled with the fact that the movie was only about 90 minutes. I'm, or something like that, yeah. Whatever it was. It was only more than an hour and a half. I thought the movie could have more done a little better if it was maybe two hours. But the, the way they made the movie, I guess, they couldn't have her in a space for two hours. And there was a lot of unrealistic things. Now I can give up, you know, what's, what's it called? Um, the um, spoiler alert. Um, everyone's seen this movie by now, so it's not like I'm spoiling anything. But there was some fire extinguisher, she, fire extinguisher that she used in space. She uses a, one of her packs on the back of the um, astronaut things, the, their jet packs, whatever they have in the back. Well, she was using it like that because she didn't have another one. I don't think that would function in space, especially if it's... I know they have specialized extinguishers, but I don't know if that, that probably wouldn't function in space. That was designed to work with oxygen, am I not right? She was trying to put a fire out with it in the movie. You can't have a fire without oxygen. So I think that was all bullshit. But other than that, the movie was pretty good. The 3D, though, was another thing. It wasn't that great. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't like the Harry Potter flat 3D. You could actually... This was the kind of 3D like every other movie I tell you about mostly. Because a lot of movies are up conversion and stuff. Is a, the 3D is pushed into the screen, not out of it. There's a few remote things that pop out during the movie, but for the majority of the movie, it's just that kind of 3D stuck in the television, which isn't that bad. I actually liked it like that. Because um, sometimes if you have too many 3D objects coming in front of your face, or in front of your eyes, I should say, during the film, it could be rather annoying. It could be irritating. So I chose... Um, to accept it the way it was. I think it's better to do it that way. Or else you want to be irritated every second. That's what you could do. Well, that's all I have to say about this movie. I'm going to watch the special features now, which was supposedly there's three hours of special features. That's a little too much for a movie that was only an hour and a half, but um, that's it. Bye-bye.